Hey everybody, are you thinking about moving to the east side of Seattle and can't decide which city to live in? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about Bellevue and Redmond and compare the two and talk about their differences and similarities. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Tova Williamson. And on this channel, we shoot a ton of videos of what it's like to live in Seattle. So if those are videos that you wanna see more of, go ahead and make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you won't miss any of our videos. We honestly get reach outs every day from people who are moving and relocating to the Seattle area. And we absolutely love hearing from you guys. If you're moving anywhere in the Seattle area, give us a call, text, email, however you wanna reach out get a hold of us. We've got your back when you're moving to Seattle, Washington. All right. So this video, we're talking about the east side, which is known as the area to the east of Seattle over across Lake Washington. This consists of Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond, Woodenville, um, Mercer Island. So today we're going to focus on Bellevue and Redmond. These are two areas that are really hot right now that a lot of people are wanting to move to. So we're going to go ahead and compare them and help you see what the differences and similarities are for these areas. So let me share my screen with you. We're going to look at the map here and just look at the geography of the area. So right here is Bellevue. Bellevue is pretty much directly east of Seattle across Lake Washington. Bellevue is bordered by Lake Washington to the west, Lake Sammamish to the east, and then we've got the 520 and I-90 that kind of sandwich it in to the north and the south. Um, Redmond is located just northeast of Bellevue, so it's a little further out. Um, if you're working in Seattle and commuting between Bellevue or Redmond, Redmond's going to be a little bit further for you to commute into Seattle. Um, with Bellevue being sandwiched in between these two bodies of water, um, you'll, you can find some homes that have some really great water views in Bellevue because you've got, um, both of those areas to the east and the west. Um, Redmond is up north. Sometimes you can find some water views in the little southern area that's near Lake Sammamish, but Redmond's gonna be a little bit more suburban feel. Um, if you go really far east into Redmond over here, um, it gets a little more rural. There's some unincorporated areas over there. So if you're looking for kind of a more rural lifestyle, East Redmond could be a place for you. Bellevue has kind of a more urban vibe in its downtown area. Um, if you go further out, there are a lot of suburbs in Bellevue too that are really nice. Um, one thing to note is these areas have always been considered suburbs of Seattle. Bellevue has really grown over the years and kind of come into its own. It has its own downtown with skyscrapers and restaurants and clubs and all sorts of things. So now it's more like Bellevue on the east side is kind of a more major city and Redmond is considered a suburb of Bellevue. So a lot of times now people, there's plenty of traction attractions in Bellevue and Redmond. So people aren't having to drive back and forth to Seattle if they're not having to work over there. Um, so, that's kind of the biggest difference between Bellevue and Redmond is Bellevue tends to be a little more urban, has a little more of a nightlife. I think the average population is a couple years younger than Bellevue, or I'm sorry, Redmond. So Redmond it tends to be a little bit more suburban, a little more family oriented, um, a little more quiet, not as much of a like wild nightlife as Bellevue has. That's not to say that there are some locations and suburbs that are on the outskirts of Bellevue that are still considered family oriented. So if you have a family and want to live in Bellevue, you can still find some family oriented neighborhoods. Just maybe like the downtown core is not going to be where you're going to want to live. Um, two of the big differences is Redmond has Microsoft. So it brings a lot of, it's a big tech hub. And same with Bellevue, Amazon is going to be opening an office over in Bellevue. So there's just a lot of tech over in that area and Seattle general area as a whole, there's a whole lot of tech. So you just tend to see um, more, I guess, tech savvy people living in these areas because of the proximity to some of these um, jobs. So there's a lot of good high paying jobs in these areas. So, you know, again, it's how some places are not as, um, 
reliant on Seattle for jobs, you can find jobs out here on the east side. Um, the biggest difference between Bellevue and Redmond is the median home price. Um, the east side tends to be more expensive than Seattle in general for median home price. Bellevue is a little bit more expensive than Redmond. Um, the median home price for single family homes in December of 2020 in Bellevue was 1.225 million. Um, Redmond came in at 1.006 million, so a little bit less than Bellevue, um, you're still going to have, it's still quite a bit more expensive to live out here. You can find homes definitely that are under a million. Don't think that it's only million dollar homes out here, but that is a good portion of them. So it is, it tends to be a higher priced area to live in. Um, as far as schools go, both Bellevue and Redmond have really, really highly rated schools. Um, the whole east side up to Kirkland and other areas are all top rated. They come in slightly better than Seattle. Seattle's schools can vary depending on the neighborhood, but Bellevue, Redmond, most of those schools are pretty top notch and um, highly rated just based on test scores, based on um, student to teacher ratio. So the schools, no matter where you live, really on the east side, you're going to find really quality schools over there. One thing to note too, if you are going to be living in Bellevue or Redmond and commuting to Seattle, the traffic can just be not very fun to deal with. You've got to cross a bridge to get over to Seattle. Um, like I said before, Redmond's going to be a little further out than Bellevue. If you live close to either the 520 or I-90 bridge and going in and out to Seattle isn't going to be so bad because you'll be closer to the bridges. One thing to note with the public transportation is there's not the best public transportation on the east side. There's only buses. The light rail is coming. It's slated to open in 2023. So it's going to go across the I-90 bridge to the south and it will go up through downtown Bellevue and then it's going to end over up in Redmond near the Microsoft campus. So public transportation is improving out there, um, but both Bellevue, Redmond, unless you're in the Bellevue downtown core, you're going to need a car um, to live out there. The one thing that's different in Bellevue versus Redmond is kind of the shopping and nightlife. Bellevue has a lot of really upscale high-end shopping. They've got Bellevue Square, which is a really big mall um, in the area. And there's a lot more kind of nightlife clubs going on there versus Redmond is more of a quiet family area. There's a lot of parks, trails, kind of just more of the family things to do. So if you're younger, you want that nightlife, Bellevue might be a better option than Redmond because Redmond tends to get a little sleepy after dark. One thing to keep in mind in the Bellevue area is there's a lot of parks nearby. You'll get a lot of water views. Um, there's trails that you can ride along. Um, Redmond typically tends to have a little bit more just because it tends to be a little more east and closer to more rural areas. So you've got more parks out there. Um, Mary Moore Park is a pretty big park that's located in the Redmond area. It sits just on the north tip of Lake Sammamish. That's a really big park. It's a really great park to go visit. They have concerts there in the summer. So that's a really fun area to live near. So those are kind of some of the biggest things to consider when deciding between Bellevue and Kirk, or I'm sorry, Bellevue and Redmond. Um, Bellevue is going to be a little more urban feel, a little more nightlife, a little more happening where Redmond might be a little bit more family oriented, a little more suburban feel. So those are the big differences. Otherwise, they're pretty similar in their geography and their location. Um, so hopefully that helps you to decide when you're moving to the east side if Bellevue or Redmond is right for you. So moving to the Seattle area and a new area can be really tough, especially when you're trying to find the spot, but that's why we're here to help. So reach out, give us a call, phone, text, email, and we got your back when you move into the area. We can't help unless you call. So see you next time.